morning um so what we've decided to do i believe is possibly go into town center in corby i did say that i've allowed myself a week two weeks to try and get any shopping done where i need to go out and um, beans hub is with me we're going to try primark again and hopefully won't have an instant like the last time we went in um a subscriber did comment that the the staff are not to put themselves at risk which i can understand but it doesn't help you when you're queuing as i said in the wind and the rain and everything and you get people pushing in i think they should especially a, a store that side should have security on the door as well to step in not just a female um you know staff member they did in tk maxx they had both and that was a small store but anyway so we're going to pop into town center not sure if i'm going to be doing any filming and i'm not sure if i will do a haul today due to the fact i am going for underwear it's like my son hubby and myself were all about due for underwear um it's been awkward it was something on the list at the beginning of the year but due to everything that was going on it just didn't get done that's why underwear is slowly sort of filtering through my videos right i haven't put lippy on because there's no point because most of the time um got masks on and i'm having to keep washing them because i keep getting lipstick on them um yeah I had a fair bit of sleep, but it was broken sleep, wasn't it? Because I've been having problems with my um, back and my knees. Um, that was one reason why my cleaning video actually got suddenly stopped. I didn't do as much as I wanted to do. Um, but um, my son's got a couple of days off, so it is sort of keeping the washing going. And uh, it's pretty good that way, isn't he? Yeah. Well, he's got more than sort of a day off um he does help out but i do have that guilty um conscience that because i don't work um i do as much as i can when i can um same as hobby but there's just certain things that i can't actually do myself or not safely so we're on our way out and we're just leaving um the site now um, there's a fair few here and so far dare I say um, it's not been too bad weather wise has it not like it was um, before no it's, it's it gets cool at night uh, when it, it starts to get dark but uh, just put a little heater on and you get nice and toasty as I say um, I think because of the cooler weather now is they've actually although they haven't finished building it as you can see they've actually um, you know extended the cafeteria haven't they yeah. it, the undercover bit that's got the lights on at the moment um, here in their little uh, van um, is a bit too cool I think isn't it to sit under so they have opened that area that's got the polythene on I think just to shelter you a bit and someone market. did yeah someone did mention um at the side of hubby there so i've got it's an awkward angle because i've got my phone plugged in because i was checking videos and that on my phone this morning so um yeah um as you come round you've got the farm shop that used to be inside there we are thank you hubby um that you can get um you know your produce from and we have mostly We've had strawberries there, so we could have strawberries and cream. <laughs> so I'm not actually going to film um, on the way. Um, so we'll see when we get into town centre. Hubby's a happy bunny at the moment. He's got his tea. And although it's coming over very grey, um, we've got the barbecue going and we are having BLTs for lunch. So there we are. If you had some Nelly vision, obviously, I love, <laughs> the, I love the smell of bacon, especially when you're really hungry, in not it? Yeah. So, yeah, so we're having BLTs, as you know, um, with lettuce, tomato and mayo. Isn't it, my darling? One of our favourites. But we didn't get to use the barbecue last time we came a fortnight ago, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, because it rained non-stop. So we thought we are going to do it while it's hopefully going to stay dry enough, long enough to cook it. So the BLTs are ready. So there we are, bacon, lettuce, tomato and mayo. So as I said, that's what we've got for lunch today. There you go. Okay, I've got a small um, Poundland haul here. Um, I had a few bits on the list that I knew. Take three. Okay, I've got a small Poundland haul to share with you. Um, a few items, I had a few bits on my list and a couple of extra bits I've purchased. As I said um, about a week or so ago, I'm trying to get my Christmas shopping done. Um, especially items that I need to get from the stores. Anything else I would have to um, either um, click and collect or do it online. So the first thing is, I think I do sort of kitchen wares. I've got a couple of items here. The first one is not so um, ex exciting. It's the antibacteria household wipes, lemon and mandarin. Normally I get these sort of um, wipes from Wilco's, but I haven't been into Wilco's, so I needed to get some more for a caravan. And the next item I needed is a small baking tray. I've got the non-stick roasting tin. It's the 32 centimetres um, because this is um, a nice size for our small oven in our caravan. And a couple of um, things that we haven't tried before is um, I know when I've seen um, American YouTubers um, and they use a lot of their crock pots and everything. They do have liners. I haven't seen them before. They probably were in Poundland, but we've got them for our slow cooker. And it contains five bags, and this is what it looks like. So I thought we'd give this a go. Um, it just keeps your pots clean and seal in the flavour. So that's the first one. And the next one I've got is a, it's a cooking liner. Um, oven, grill and microwave. It keeps your pans and trays clean, cook without fats, cut to size and this is what it is here. So um, yeah, um, I think that should be really good and there's just a, a slightly um, larger picture there. So I'm going to try that and see how it um, turns out. This reminds me very much of something we have in our oven at the moment, the bottom. Um, this you can put in, um, as you can see, on a baking tray, a frying pan and everything like that. So we'll give that a go. I'm hoping that will work. Um, not sure if I'm leaving it in the um, caravan or whether I will take this one home. Um, but if I find it does work along with this one, there will definitely probably be repeat buys. So that's all I've got in kitchen um, where I didn't actually buy any um, ornaments or pots or anything so because I don't really need them unless it's something I really really like. The only Christmas item I got, they did start having their Christmas decorations and stuff in. I am not 100% sure if they're going to have a lot of stock in, like a lot of stores because I know Christmas stuff is actually filtering it into the stores. But I'm wondering whether it's not going to be a lot of um, different pieces in and the variety. Could be wrong because half of um, the aisle or shelving is Halloween, the other half is Christmas. As normally by this time it's double Halloween and I don't think um, they've put an awful lot of Halloween pieces there as well. The only thing I did pick up, and this was actually queuing... Um, to the cashier um, is the 
a, a very Merry Christmas to you and it's this box I've had these before these are sort of um, hard to get usually and I remember um, I don't think it was last no I don't think it was last Christmas it might have been the Christmas before I'm not 100% sure I bought a couple of these um, boxes his and hers I only picked the one up maybe I should have got more I think these are nice um, for jumpers clothing anything really but especially clothing and there is a picture there of how it will look like and i think for a pound i think these are really good um talking about halloween these two items are not for us these are for our granddaughter um what i'm going to do is when i get our halloween stuff down probably when we get back home i'll start sorting it out um, I am actually going to bag pieces up hopefully um, for her home as well but these two pieces that I thought were quite good because they're not breakable um, is the pumpkin decorations there's a pack of two and it's these um, pumpkins we are not doing pumpkin um, party this year we normally have a um, pumpkin um, what do you call it hubby pumpkin what, fresh pumpkin carving carving pumpkins that's what i'm looking for carving pumpkins my mum went blank then yeah we normally have a carving pumpkin party and we've done that for a number of years but we're not doing it this year so i've just got these um like paper ones um you know to put out and then they're not precious then um and they're not breakable and the other one is just this little boo sign i thought this was nice and colorful and i think you know this will look nice on any um surface you know hanging up on the door so it's just those couple of little bits so for the rest of what i did buy yeah again sweets after the range i got these halloween sorted one um and it's got a lot of the ones that the family enjoy i know hubby again loves all of these drumstick ones and I used to love the ones that are down the bottom, those lollipops there. So I maybe in, end up having at least one um, sort of lollipop over Halloween. So that's those. So I'm glad I got those in. I'm not going over um, and above due to the fact I could be totally wrong. I don't think it'd be allowed. And I don't think we'll be opening our door anyway about um, trick-or-treating. I'm sure it's a no-go and I'm sure a lot of people are not going to want to open their doors as every year I normally make little um, bags up with sweets in for the neighbours kids and any others that you know knock on the door definitely a no-no this year so the only sweets I'm going to get is um, for immediate family and for us ourselves so that's that um, did get three boxes of the paracetamol three for a pound and also um, it's this master plast tape um, both me and hubby saw this at the same time thought we'd have a go at this it's pre-cut tapes are ideal to provide comfortable and effective joint support for minor injuries sprains and strains the pack contains six pre-cut applications for the shoulder wrist knee and foot I thought these might help with um, the knee, knee pain that I've been having and um, before I have a chance to actually go and see my GP. The only toiletry item I actually purchased, and they had a full range of this, they're not very big sizes as you can see, and it's called the Land of Nod. This is the shower gel for relaxing and Carmen lavender with essential oils to add to aid a good night's sleep and so it's only a small bottle um, and it's only um, 200 ml so it's not that because you can see by my hand but I uh, thought I'd try that and they had a really large variety of new products well products that I haven't seen but then again I haven't been going into the shops frequently so I don't know what is actually new and what isn't so that's those hubby wanted a thin hat he's got different um thickness hats as a as have I and as somebody wanted a thinner one that he can um, wear at work but still keep his head um sort of warm without being over 
um, hot so that is from Pep and Co range but that was only a pound talking about Pep and Co we've got two items here these were both two pounds each um, have you picked these up one is for our son which is more of this um, camouflage um, that you put um, as I say over your neck and then you can put it over your mouth and your nose especially if you're going um, in and out of um, stores or something outside and you just want to keep your neck warm but then you literally want to go straight into a shop and don't want to fluff around by putting things over your ears you can just move it over your face so here's got the camouflage which is like this polyester I think it is silky one and I said oh they didn't have it to happen to have it in pink camouflage and hubby said no but that was men's but on the women's side is this slightly thin woolly sort of um texture and this is soft 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 as i like to say same sort of thing and this was obviously in the women's part but these were if i didn't say these were actually two pounds each Something I mentioned to hubby, um, don't know what sort of quality this is going to be. This is the face shield and this was also £2. Um, I've always used the face mask but I'm beginning to have problems um, if I want to do be any length of time with a relative or something and you've got masks on except for when you're having a drink or something so I wanted something like this so it's not so confined to the face so I shall give this a try so I don't know what sort of quality of this is going to be because I know some of them can run really expensive it's like any of the face masks if you buy them online and whatever different um, sort of quality and obviously different prices so I will give that a go and see how that works out and the last little category I've got is stocking fillers this one personally is for my own stocking on Mr. Mayor and me and stationery and pens. It's called Compliment Pens and it basically says your handwriting is um, sensational. You are absolutely marvellous and you look truly fabulous. And it's in this pink, pale pink and grey, um, which will look great um, in my pen pot on my desk I do like uh, um, quite a lot of selection of pens and I get through pens quite a lot um, I remember when um, Poundland did all the um, comments on the pencils as well not to this range but in other ranges so I'm glad I got those so it's something useful and something for my own stocking um, not sure if i end up keeping these as well it is the with vitamin e it's the glow up limb lip balm and it's also a mirror and the packaging is really nice in this as well so i think that will make a nice gift and also um is the um sort of goldy um bronzy sort of color is the glow up mini mirror now this sort of range they had an awful lot of um, pieces to this range so it's quite a small mirror but you know it just works out really good it's got the um, magnifying um, type mirror and the ordinary mirror and as I said for a pound I think these are so sweet especially if you've um, only got like maybe a little shelf that you can use for vanity put your makeup your jewelry and you've got a little mirror if you've got not a great um, amount of space brilliant for traveling even you know especially if you want that mirror you know to move around your lighting and I think which I've also found um, when we're not been in the caravan and stayed um, away somewhere it's surprising especially you might only have a decent mirror in the bathroom and then say you want to put your makeup on or brush your hair and you need another mirror these are ideal and don't take a lot of room up in your luggage and the last thing is for our granddaughter on frozen and I have looked at these a number of different places online and I must admit they have been very expensive but for a pound you've got two hair slides and a little um, bubble time 
bottle bubble ties get it right there on frozen two and for a pound i thought that's great i've seen these three four pounds and more in um online which i think is quite a lot of money especially how our granddaughter even now hubby will agree to me the amount of times we found a little bubble things and hair grips all over the place um because she does after a while pull them out so that concludes all my shopping so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks a lot for watching goodbye Thanks, Reggie. Thank you.